Look at that. There's bye cart. See you later. Oh, Perrier Joyet champagne. That's actually a really expensive champagne. This big bottle right here could be considered a dummy bottle, and that might actually be worth a little bit of money. You are not marked, I and mean, you are not priced. Oh, it's a Disney. Oh, that is really cute. Look at that. A little, no little chip mug. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. There's some bright sunshine coming in my side window because it's that time of night. It is a balmy 89 degrees here. It's not balmy. Why did I say balmy? It's not balmy. Just seemed like the thing to say. No, it's a sunny. It's a sunny, hot 89 degrees. And I am at Goodwill and they just changed the color over today. Uh, this is my second store in the same day. One I went to earlier, a different store. That was the video you saw yesterday, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know the order anymore. And this will be the video you see tonight. So, I'm rambling. Let me get inside and see what I can find to sell. Let's get shop done. Alright, let's get in here and see what's going to be our lucky card. Okay, I need the lucky one. I need the lucky one again. Yeah, is that? Oh, good. Okay, you, you gave me the lucky one last time, too. All right, we got blue tags are our 50% off color. Well, let us see what we can find on the shelves tonight. They've gotten a little bit louder with their music in here. Oh, goodness. So I will apologize ahead of time if there are any areas in this video where I have to do a little something to cover up that music. I try not to, but it happens. Like right now, that speaker is right over my head. You know I love these, and this will go in my own collection because I love these. It's a cowrie shell. What is this? That would have sat, looks inside of another piece, like a, not a candle holder, but, okay. It's not very high quality either. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh my goodness, kitty cat plates. Look at all of the kitty cat plates. Not something I wanna deal with, but a soapstone. Oh, he's not soapstone, he fooled me. He is just a ceramic giraffe. Look at that, there's, bye cart, see you later. All right, you wait right there. <laughs> Happens every time and I always forget. I gotta hold on to my cart at this store. Oh, look at this little shelf sitter seahorse that is signed. Oh, he's missing something on his head. What would have been on his head? Oh, it's very cute, but he definitely is, I don't know. No, I don't need him. I don't need him. I don't need him. Look at these little dainty, fine china little Cups and saucers for four dollars. I don't think I can do four dollars on them. All right, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Oh, Perrier Joyet Champagne. That's actually a really expensive champagne. This big bottle right here could be considered a dummy bottle, and that might actually be worth a little bit of money. Let me get one down with two hands and see how much it is. It's $14.99, so I think I'm going to I'm gonna leave it at $14.99. Don't want to spend that much without doing a little research. And a lot of people say, well, why don't you look stuff up while you're at the store? I do. I do look some things up, but some things are just, you got to dig a little deeper than the really quick search that you can do on your phone. And if I don't feel super good about it, then I will just leave it, research. And if it's here next time, great. If not... Then I hope somebody got it and makes a killing. I like this little glass trinket dish that's in the shape of a shell for $2.99. We'll grab that. 
got a decanter. I think he's he's missing something on the top. He would have had something else, I think, like a hat or something. Pretty sure. All right, I don't see anything else, although that's, that's kind of funny right there. That is kind of funny. We'll leave that right there. Let's look in the seasonal. I cannot believe we are in June and Christmas in July is right around the corner. $3.99 on this really cool bell. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's that great. I mean, as far as resale value, it's great. I just don't think it's resale value great. I've got a whole bag full of ornaments, a lot of wood ornaments. There is... <laughs> This is the one that caught my attention, this like chihuahua fish. It's a chihuahua fish ornament. <laughs> uh, that's fun. $4.99 for the whole bag. You know what? I want the chihuahua fish, so uh, let's grab that. Barn Wood L-U-P. Let's see what you are. All right, I have to get it out of there because I still don't know what it is. Stand by. So it's actually Disney themed. Happy holidays from the gang. Looks like it lights up. It's from, doesn't say when it's from, but it is new in the box. Let's see how much it is. How much are you? Oh, come on, where's your price? There's no price on it. No price. Okay, it's one we're going to have to find out when we get up there. All right, next to it, there's some out of place plates, but then there is Nutcrackers. It's the Wise Man collection. They are $14.99 each. So we will pass on those. Let's see what else we can find. A little Bear Angel. What are you? Oh, okay. That's what you are. Let's see who makes these little pastel houses. Oh, they are Hawthorne Village. I know it's upside down. It's Precious Moments Hawthorne Village. Oh. I don't know what those are worth. Let's see. I'm trying to find what they have them priced at. That one doesn't have a price. Does that one have a price? That one has a price, $10. So they've got $10 red tag on them. I just, I'm not that excited enough about them to even like look them up right now. Again, it's just one of those things. Just one of those things. Oh, look at the little marquetry dog on a I wonder what, he had something else that went with, oh, he's part of a puzzle box. I see it now. There would have been a piece here and then that fit into a piece. So he's missing all of his puzzleness. That's too bad. That would have been a fun piece to find. Well, I don't know. Maybe when we get to the wood section, we're going to find more pieces and then we could put it all together. Oh, these are still here. Remember I showed the price of these the last time I was here. Uh, these are priced over what you can get them for online. Which is why they're still here. Because they're black tag and black tag doesn't go in the regular cycle of going to like a dollar after a while. Oh, there's a cool Budweiser box down here. It is $14.99. I think I scared that little dog. I think I scared it. Did that scare you? Did I make lots of noise? <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm gonna get him in trouble. It's a chihuahua thing. It's just a chihuahua thing. Little boot. Let's see what's up here. Nothing else. Ooh. Let's see what you are. You are not marked. I mean, you are not priced somebody peeled the ticket off they can still scan it though it should the price should still come up i bet it's like 2.99 or 3.99 i'm trying to 
trying to decide how I feel about it. The paint job is not great and it's got a lot of crazy. I think I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Yeah, let's see. Vintage, but not super exciting. What are you? Just a little glass vase. Oh, you're a nice pillow swan. Somebody put this on, but I would take that off. The, um, oh, you're stained. Darn it. The, uh, the pillow swans I've done quite well with in the past. But he is, oh, I'm sorry, honey. Sit up. You are far, you're far too elegant to lay on your side. There you go. Oh, log cabin bank from the Grand Canyon National Park. It is made of cedar. It's $5.99. Oh, it's got its stopper. That's good. It's a little more than I'd like to pay for it, but it's kind of a cool piece, so I'll pick that up. And this is a camel's. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's actually really cool. I mean, I wish it didn't have camels on the top, and I wish it wasn't $15. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it, but it's a Thomas Museum. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm going to look it up real quick. Stand by. Well, it looks like it will sell for about 40 bucks, so we will go ahead and grab it. So that is a circumstance where I will look something up when it has the potential to be worth a lot more than the price being asked, and the price being asked is more than I would pay without knowing for sure if it's going to make me any money. So in this case, I will pay 15 to turn it into 40. That's an interesting piece. It's not super old. It's got a barcode made in China. All right. Let's come over here to the metals and see what goodies we can find, like a frog candle holder with like little marbly eyes. He's cute. 4.99. Oh look. Oh, I thought that had like a face on it too. It doesn't. It's just got little holes all around for like the candle light. I don't know, frog. I feel, I feel like I could splurge five bucks on you. Let's see little trivets with little uh, tiles in them. It's neat. Let's see what else we got over here. A pretty little oh it's got no weight darn it that had some weight to it I might have been tempted but no weight to it and it's got a sticker little chicken wire it would have held oh it's party light so it would have held candles in there I do actually I like this piece you know what I'm thinking my project I can make a really cute little country assemblage in there. Yep, five bucks, I'm picking it up. Oh, let's see. That, made in India. And then someone told me that these things are made by pouring something down into an ant hill, ant nest, and, and why am I touching it? Ooh. Yeah, that just kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies just now. Ooh, ooh, don't want to think about it. Goodness. That is a Chinese-made piece of glass there. Look at these little bunny, little terracotta bunny guys. They're kind of cute. I mean, they're dollar each. They're nothing that exciting, though. I can pass them by. Kind of a cute little pottery vase. Lots of non-priced stuff tonight. Hmm. That makes me kind of just say, meh, I don't need it. And keep on going. This looks like Raku on the inside. But this on the outside doesn't look Raku, but it's cool. And I like the colors of it. 
And again, there's no price. I don't think it's that old because it's got a plastic plug in it. I do like it. I'm going to find out how much this one is. And just keep in mind, if you stay to the recap, I will tell you how much I paid and how much it's worth. Painted. Painted glass. Over qualified teacher. It's cute. And let's see if there's anything else. Little fox guy's still here with his little chip. I wish he wasn't chipped. Such a bummer when they get chipped. And I can't rescue them all as much as I would love to. Clam shells. I have no idea what those are trying to be. None whatsoever. All right, let's see if there's anything in the plastics that either shouldn't be here or is Disney or is vintage. And I don't see a thing today. So we'll keep going. All right, let's go look on this side where the plates and the bowls are hanging out and see what goodies we can find. Oh, there's a, is it a frog? Are you a frog of some sort? You are an odd looking frog. This is Mexican pottery. It's burnished. That's what those black marks are. It's like a red clay with a burnished finish, but they actually burn it. He's kind of cool, actually. What do you think? What do you think? Should I get him? He's got a few little scratches. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I'm waiting, I'm wait, oh wait, I won't see these comments until after I buy them. All right, let me know if that was a good choice. To say, Danny, you should have left it, or Danny, good job. Good job picking up the weird frog. I wish her nose wasn't broken, she'd be a nice little mug. All right, this pattern is Blue Danube. It's $7 for the little jam jar. $7 for the creamer. It is $5 for a cup and saucer. $25 for the bowls. Nice pattern, but we cannot pay that. All right, I think that's it for this section. All right, let's look in the mugs. See what we can find cute little gnomes. Don't need to buy the cute little gnomes. What are you? You are a llama. You are an R. That tankard set is still here. Yep, still see things here that were here last time. This is missing something and has a crack. Right. Yeah, the prices are a little... Mm, and they go by, you know, on these, like they say 12. Okay, we're going to do it half of that. That's how they, that's how they come up with it. Yeah. And then they red tag, so it doesn't go on discount either. It'll be here a while. A mug like that will be here a while. Those are pretty, but all mismatched. It has a name on it. Let's look what that name is. What are you? You are Thomas O'Brien. Modern Blue Guild Flowers Vase. That's not super exciting. Let's say K monogram. Not super exciting, even though they're vintage. Well, I guess they are to somebody with, you know, a name that starts with K. Disarano, not one of the exciting ones. The ice cube ones are the good ones to pick up. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, darn it. Six dollars each. Look at those beautiful Pilsner glasses. But I can't do, I can't do six. All right. Those are pretty, but we have to leave them. All right. One of these canisters is still here. They must have sold the other one. Oh, look at him. Norpro Squirrel 
nutcracker. Oh, I, it's an empty box. I think somebody has removed him. It's only $5.99. It was not a bad price. But he is no longer in there. This is vintage, but I don't do real well with those. I think there's a lot of them out there. I do love pumpkin candy jars, though. I do, I do love that. I have quite a collection of these, actually. Do I need another one? Do I need another pumpkin? I feel like I don't. I feel like I should leave that for somebody else because, you know, I'll share the pumpkin love so somebody else can get some pumpkins too. All right, anything here? I see something interesting underneath here. Let me, let me undig it a little bit if I can get to it. Oh, Brigham Young. That's not super exciting. I mean, unless you went to Brigham Young, and then it probably is. But it's not for me. What is this? Cabo San Lucas would have had salt and peppers. That's different. Okay. Don't need that. What's on the lid of this? Scary cute. Okay. Don't need that. Oh, Temptations Chicken for $5.99. And this one. Oh, that's a. I feel like that is not his tail, but maybe it is. That just seems like a mishmash with that. I mean, there's a little bit of green right here. Oh, I don't know if that's really his tail. I feel like his tail would have been blue. And that's been put on there. I do like the yellow. Oh, all right. I'll save them both. Let's see what else is laying around here. Oh, the vegetable pitcher. Look at that. Look at the carrot handle. It's old Lillian Vernon. $5.99. I love it. Look at this little bird sitting in here. 99 cents. And then this. Peaches and Dreams. It came, was oh, it was a Claire Burke's candle from J.C. Penny. Like really oh, it's a Disney. Oh, that is really cute. Look at that. A little, no little chip mug. That's pretty. I don't know what I would do with it, but it's pretty. Crystal divided, no, crystal dreidel. With, oh, it's really a crystal dreidel. Look at that. Oh, $14.99. All right. No crystal dreidel for us. These are the little Jägermeister shot glasses. I actually have some of those right now, and I haven't sold the ones that I have yet. So I'm not going to pick up more. Okay. Oh, somebody took the price off of there. Let's go find out how much chip is. I see some depression glass. Let's see. Got to find a place to move stuff to to get to stuff. Well, that's not too bad. $5 for that piece right there. That's kind of a pretty piece for $5. Yeah, and then that piece is $5 too, so I think we'll get these. Now, my thinking on those is if I hold on to them, I mean, not hold on them, but if they don't sell, uh, I could turn around and make pretty little assemblage pieces out of them, which is my little project that I'm doing. This is kind of a cool thing with all these different stacking bowls. Little measuring cup guys, and then we got the small appliances. Hmm. Ah, the old photo albums. I only pick these up if I find like the ones that are uh, like Hawaiian themed and like the super, super like 60s, 70s ones. Those can still sell. Other than that, very hard sell. Uh, Happy New Year. 
Don't know what that is. Bucket balance. Hmm. It brings back memories. I made one of those once. I was, I don't even think I was in my 20s. I was in my late teens when I made one of those. Oh goodness, that was a long time ago. Long time ago. And let's see if there's anything on here. I don't see anything. Oh, memo cube. I wish those were post-it notes. If they were post-it notes, I'd be all over it. Got some Disney little, oh, it's from McDonald's. Is that a Happy Meal thing? Yes. Games room. Who am I? Okay, nothing that we need. God's way of handling money. Okay. All right, I don't see anything here in the bathroom stuff calling me. So we'll keep going. Wow, see, there's just about everything at Goodwill. Need some mulch? There it is. We don't use any of that stuff. Everything we use outside is organic because of the tortoises. Look at that flooring. Could probably, there's probably enough there to do like a little bathroom, right? Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> I see nothing else. I look through every single section because you never know when something got moved, displaced, or is just cool and out of your niche, but you gotta have it. Okay, let's look through the art. I'm gonna come over here because I saw some smaller stuff tucked in back here. Oh, it's those puzzles that were here last time. Yep. No puzzles for us. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just a shadow but why? Uh, it's just an example of what you can do. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get what they're doing. Made them really realistic looking tickets in there. Gosh, this happens every time. Stuff just falls at me. Pretty much always catch it though. Got a pretty good track record of not letting stuff completely fall apart. Candyland, that's really cute. I think we all played Candyland as a kid, right? Okay, if you never played Candyland as a kid, tell me in the comments. Do we need to get together and play a virtual game of Candyland? I'm just saying. I still like the game. I'd like an excuse to play it. Why not? And never forget to look up. Because you never know. But I don't see anything up here. Ah, I think we're all good. We escaped the art today. Ah, of course, we do have to come over here and look at the small art. And see what might be here. Sometimes good things come in small packages. Nothing's jumping at me though. I know some people come and they dig really, really hard for things and I just don't have the time. So I skim. And I always manage to pretty much fill a cart, so no complaints. Wow, that's a nice refrigerator, but it is $900. Oh my goodness. I do not think I'd want to spend $900 for a refrigerator uh, at Goodwill. That just seems a little bit questionable. Okay, no lamps today. Alright, checking out the miscellaneous textiles. Let's 
see if there's oh look at oh look at the color of that fabric Ooh, i like it like what what could i do with that what could i could i decorate it's seven dollars though for that little hunk of fabric goodness 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 okay had it been like 99 cents dollar 99 i would have bought it and figured out something to do with it so i lost my temptation for that Silverton home. That's cross stitched. Vintage linen. That's really nice. Doesn't look like it has any stains. I think I might pick that up. I mean it's it's been kept in beautiful condition. So yeah. Let's grab that for $4.99. All right, let's scan the pillows. It was so cute. That's one of the first places Noah went when he did Noah cam with me the other day because he knows I always go through the pillows. And he actually found one. But I don't think we're going to find one tonight. Well, the zebras are... They're kind of cool, but tassels are missing on portions. I guess you could just take those tassels off doesn't really need tassels does it the fact that tassels kind of cheapen it it's $3.99 it's kind of a cool pillow without the tassels yeah why not I'll pick that up all right let's look in the toys see if there's any great thing this is where I found that really cool Disney game last time super excited the kids still haven't played it with me but we're going to because I am excited to play that game. We just gotta round everybody up at the same time. And sometimes that is no easy feat. Noah is so, so busy with his racing leagues and Rachel is so, so busy, well, doing whatever a teenage girl does. <laughs> Pinky Pickle, is that Mr. Pickle's girlfriend? I didn't even know Mr. Pickles had a girlfriend. But I have Mr. Pickles, and I feel like now I need Pinky Pickle to go with him. All right, we'll see if there's anything else cool in the games. Mm, logo party, that one would be fun. I feel like, though, that has to be played with somebody who came from the era of watching TV commercials. Yes. All right, let's look over in the purses, see what we can find. That's vinyl. It's not even leather. Don't know what that says. Etiana Agner? Did I get that right? I'm not sure. Kind of guessing. That is Montana West. Now, Montana West uh, used to be a good name in purses. I don't know. Is it still a good name in purses? I feel like this is a uh, this is a concealed carry purse. That's what that little side pocket is for there. And this is $8.99. I think we will pick that one up. All right. Nothing else in the purses except for our little Montana West. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that one. It's in really good condition, too. All right. Well, let's take uh, Pinky Pickles and let's head to the checkout. And stay tuned for the recap where I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. And then stay tuned because uh, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of some of my new critters.
seen the recap and you can see that the little Disney mug, they did $5.99 red tag. I'm not super thrilled with that, but I justify it because if I switched that with the piece of pottery, I'd be okay with paying $5.99 for the pottery, but they only charged me $3.99 for the pottery. So it all worked out just fine. And then uh, it was $4.99 for the little Disney house. Yes, yes. So all in all, a very good Goodwill trip. Um, pretty excited about that purse that I found. That's a really nice purse. I know that's a good brand. And uh, well, you've already seen the reading cap. What am I? What am I going on about? All right, I'm headed home to go uh, feed my fishies, and I will share the new additions with you. That's coming up. So this is the newest tank with the newest little friends in it, and uh, this uh, the video of us setting this up is over on my other channel, the Niche Lady Critter Cams. And you can see the process of bringing uh, this whole aquarium in and setting it up. And uh, so we don't, we haven't named these guys. Actually, the eel, the eel came with a name. The eel, where's your face, honey? Where is your face? You're in there. She's wrapped around. I think, I think her face is right, right in, in there, but she's not looking at us. So her name is Zoe. He needs a name. Now, he is a Huma Huma trigger. He is a Hawaiian trigger, uh, but he doesn't have a name. And then we have a pink tail trigger, which is this guy right here. And uh, he doesn't have a name either. And then we have the little clownfish. Now they are a couple. They are, let's see, yeah, that's the male and that's the female. She tells him what for and where to go and all of that. She is the boss. And they don't have names either. They don't have to do a little naming thing. Now, they have this anemone and then they have this anemone back here, which in the, it, so this tank has like a moonlight setting and I will tell you what, if you like uranium glass, you would like this anemone because it glows. It's fluorescent. Uh, maybe, just maybe, if not now uh, on maybe a future video, I will get some footage of this in the moonlight because it's truly spectacular and I love it. But this will be going on a webcam, a live aquarium cam very, very soon. I was hoping to get a couple more fishies in here before that happens. But tell me what you think. Would you be, would you be okay if I just set it up and like the camera's just looking right over here and watching everybody swim by over here? I just feel like maybe it's not quite exciting enough yet, but I don't know. I don't know, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Because these guys are pretty active. Like if I set the camera up right here, of course I'd have to get that that glow of things behind me. Now the clowns stay over here all the time because this is where their this is where their anemones are. Um, but the other guys just kind of go all over. And the eel does not come over there very often. The eel stays pretty much over here, and she comes out at night. The eel likes to come out at night. All right, so that is that is one of the new little additions to the family. Then over here, now this is a pretty plain tank. This is a quarantine tank. So this is where the fish come to before they go into one of the main tanks. And we have five little friends over here that unfortunately are now being medicated for the very, very beginnings of something called ick. It's really super common. And so we just gotta knock it out before they go into the main tank. So, and unfortunately I had an anemone in here for these clownfish and they loved their anemone, but uh, he would not handle the, the medication. So he's, he's been moved. That's called a little scopus tang. That little guy right there. 
And then, oh, these guys are mad. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, little sail fin tang. At least you're making yourself pretty and showing everybody your beautiful sail fins. So that is the sail fin tang. And then we have a spotted rabbit fish over here who is super hiding because he really, really does not like my camera being over here. Where are you? There, oh, okay. Just a little bit, a little bit in the light. Let me show everybody how cute you are. Oh no, you're gonna go hide. All right, we, we don't wanna stress them out any more than need be because we are trying to get them healthy so that they can move over to this tank. And I think I've introduced these guys. This is the uh, panther, no, leopard grouper? I don't know, spotted grouper? And he's gonna get really super big. And then this guy's name is Spock. We call him Spock. He is a flame hawk. He is amazing. I love him so much. I can't even tell you. I, I, he's only second to banana in favorites. And I don't see banana right now. Banana, where are you hiding little buddy? See, there's, there's the anemone that I had to bring over here. And he's actually pretty happy in this tank, right? Oh, I see banana. There you are. You're hiding back there. What are you doing? What you doing, buddy? Come, come say hi to your fans. You can see more of Banana over on the other channel where I put all the critter coverage. But yeah, he's just chilling. He's just, he's just hanging out. He's just having a good time. He's just, uh, he's just being a banana. And that's all that's in this tank right now, except for some corals and invertebrates in here because. Oh, this is like his favorite spot. Look at that. He just sits right up there. King of the hill. <laughs> um, because of just trying to get healthy fish over into this tank and not taking any chances, especially with banana, because he's kind of like one of our favorites. Yeah, you're, you're really funny, dude. Yes, I love you. All right, there you go. Oh, of course, it wouldn't be an update. I know, it would not be an update without the reef tank, which I have added several, I've added several little corals to, and including, I got another little shelf because I ran out of rock space, so they make these where you can stick the little frag plugs into it, and I actually bought some more of those so that I can buy some more corals, because this is my little garden right here. This is truly my garden adventure, and I super love it. This might actually go in my bedroom when I move. Uh, I think it might, I think it might. But I will leave you with that tank and its beautifulness. And make sure you go see more over on the Niche Lady Critter Cam. Now, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.